Well, I guess it is true. Third time's the charm. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? This is my review for Leprechaun 3. Now, for when I was a little kid, the first movie was, in fact, my first horror movie. Go check out my review for that. I'll probably put a card up here. And if not, then I'm pointing out absolutely fucking nothing. But when I was younger, this was my favorite. For uh, When I was younger, I would... I, Pretty much every day, I would always put on the first movie. But sometimes, I would just, before I go to school, I would put this movie on. Before I went to school, my mom would be would be getting ready to bring me to preschool. But when I when she's getting ready, she would just throw on Leprechaun Three for me, just pretty much to shut me up while she's trying to get ready. And um, I don't know if it's my favorite anymore. I think I still think it's good. I think it's right now. I might it might be my second favorite, but who knows? Starting off with my positives on Leprechaun Three is the Vegas setting i think that the fact that they brought the leprechaun to las vegas is a little is a bit funny i kind of like the setting where you get to this farmhouse in the first movie pretty much in california apparently los angeles i can't remember was it los angeles might have been los angeles in the second movie but now we're in vegas baby and what could go wrong right Next positive is I is a uh, like I've said, but this is kind of like a small positive, and that is the, and that is Caroline Williams in this movie. Now Caroline Williams, she's in a lot of movies that I enjoy, mainly Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Two, but I think she's just a nice character in this. I don't really mind her character where she's just like this, where she's getting to that age where she's getting old and she wants to be young and sexy again, which we can all probably relate to. But I just like seeing Caroline Williams in this, mainly because of Tex Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, which I really hope we'll see her again in the future. TCM, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I like seeing Caroline Williams in here. It's just a small actress that I like to see. I do like the casino in here, where this movie is about Vegas, and what is Vegas known for? Casinos, and everyone losing all their fucking money in, in the casino, where I think it's kind of it's kind of fun just to see the leprechaun throwing dice in the, like a fucking pool table, and all these people just fucking enjoying themselves, where every time I see a casino, all I can just think about is just people losing all their fucking money doing, doing all this, but I like the casino setting, it's a little fun, I really wish we could have seen more of Vegas, but what we get in Vegas, and what we get to see in this casino, it's fun where you get this like, Magician show, you get all these weird things. You just see people placing their bets. Magician show, like I said, it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun to watch. Hell, you even get to see the owner of the casino in his own room. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I do like the comedy in this movie. This, this movie got a few laughs out of me, where it, mostly from the kills and some of the horrendous acting. But I think that this movie is actually pretty funny. Like the first movie, it's a guilty pleasure to, uh, to laugh at. I'm pretty sure, maybe I talked about it in, in Leprechaun 2, I can't remember. But, I think the comedy in this one is pretty funny. I laugh every single fucking time I watch it. Every time I watch it, I can't help but just chuckle a little bit. It's, a li it's sure, some of the jokes may not land for everyone, but for me who grew up with this stupid-ass fucking film, I can't help but laugh every single fucking time in which I actually quote to fucking death. Here's something I can actually say that I haven't said about the first two movies, is the kills. I think the kills are actually fucking good. You even get, like I said, Caroline Williams, where she's young again because she wished for it, but the leprechaun makes her ass big, her boobs big, her fucking lips big, she tries to go through a door, she just fucking explodes. <laughs> Get the owner of this casino where he where the leprechaun goes into his into his room after he almost gets laid by a person, but maybe we'll talk about that. But the leprechaun goes into his room and fucks with his TV and this girl comes out and they're just like and they're fucking making out and all that, having dry sex in a way. And then the and then uh the leprechaun like he shows up and then he just shows that he's been fucking a robot. And then they and then the fucking Robot electrocutes him. He thinks he's about to fuck this hot ass woman, but nope. It's a, le <laughs> it's a fucking robot that just fucking electrocuted him to death. You even get the magician Fazio where he's where he's sawed in half with a chainsaw. That cool trick where magicians like to do where they saw you in half and the show they still wiggle your toes. But in this one, the leprechaun just cuts him in half and it just shows all of his fucking organs. It's a, it's pretty cool and it's very creative for a magician, anyways. 
Now on to my mixed aspects, the characters. I don't absolutely hate the characters. I think the, some of the characters are more enjoyable. There are some characters where I just think they're just fine, though. But the reason there are some characters that aren't that likable is because of the acting. Mainly, the Cena owner, I didn't really care for him. I thought Fazio, I didn't care for him that much, but I thought he was pretty funny. But then you also get Caroline Williams' this character where she's just trying to live her life since she was younger. But I did, I didn't, I thought the Scott character was a bit weird, though. I thought he was, he was kind of the outsider of the movie, where he's just trying to go to college, but then he gets sucked into this casino, and then he gets with this girl that he literally just fucking met, and now he wants to fuck, now he wants to fuck her, and then get married with her. It's, <laughs> the character's not great, but I wasn't, like, fucking bored the entire time they were on screen. Being of the Scott character, um... And my next mixed aspect is him turning into a leprechaun. You get the scene where uh, the leprechaun breaks, goes in, not breaks, well, goes into his hotel room because he wants room service, but the leprechaun shows up and because he had his gold coin, and then um, he attacks him, he bites him, but then the and then Scott stabs him in the fucking head with a knife. Some of, some of the leprechaun's blood gets into his blood, and then that turns him into a leprechaun. It's weird, right? But I guess I could forgive it because this is a strange movie and this is about a killer leprechaun and this movie isn't taking itself seriously. But it was a little unnecessary, but it was a bit silly, which I can forgive it for. Now on to my negatives. We spent too fucking long in this pawn shop where we open with this movie where Gupta, who works at this pawn shop, or... This one guy tries to sell him this leprechaun statue, and he gives him 20 bucks for it. But then he takes off this medallion, and then he leprechaun wakes up, and then there's just a pot of gold there. And he tries to take it, but then the leprechaun, like, hook and he attacks him, and then the leprechaun spends, like, a half hour in this pawn shop. If any, Yeah, like, 35 to 36 minutes he's in this pawn shop. We're in Vegas. I don't want to stay in a fucking pawn shop. We get another scene where the characters go over there to look for his gold, and then, like, there's a, uh, there's a scene when they're in there, when they're leaving, like, the, the, the casino and the pawn shop are, like, right across the street from each other, but there's a scene in this movie where they're leaving, and then they get into a car to go there. And I'm like, wait, weren't, weren't they just, like, literally across the street from each other? What the fuck? When I talked about the characters, um, yeah, their acting in this movie is not great. But let's be honest, none of the acting in this franchise is great, though, but, uh, some of the line delivery was, like, fucking horrendous. There's this one part where Scott, after he got attacked by the leprechaun, um, he picks up the phone, and he's like, yeah, I want to report about your leprechaun in the hotel. Yeah, little short guy, green, covered in green, little buck shoes. Oh, he tried to kill me! Hello? All in all, guys, I think this movie is a guilty pleasure. It's a, it's a bad movie. It's a pretty, it's, there are bad parts about this, but for me, it's a guilty pleasure. I can't help but have fun with this film. And it's a film I grew up with, so I have sympathy for it. And honestly, I would say go out and buy it. What do you guys think of Leprechaun 3? Do you enjoyed this movie? Is it a guilty pleasure for you as well? Or do you not like this movie and you think it's fucking horrendous? Let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. If you like this video, like it. If you loved it, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will get notified for my latest videos. And please share this video so my, U my YouTube channel can grow. But until my next re movie review or video, take care.